Hello everyone, my name is Ayub Khuyi from iMaker and in today's video I'll show you how you can replace the LCD screen of the Phenom L. So before we get on with it, I would like to highlight a few important things. First, the LCD panel is the mask part of the MSLA. It changes the light uh, coming from the LED array and it turns it into an image. This is why it is extremely important for your printing process. Secondly, the LCD screen is very fragile and it is one of the most expensive consumables in your uh, Phenom L. This is why it should be handled with extreme care, especially the back end where all the cables and the electronics are located. Now, let's start changing the LCD screen. So, first thing first, you have to make sure that you remove the pad and the build platform. And then we have to rotate the printer 180 degrees so that we can have an easy reach to all the electronics at the back of the printer. And this is how the back panel looks like. Now we will try to actually remove it by unscrewing its six screws. I usually use this electronic screwdriver, but you can always use an appropriate Allen key. And this is how the printer looks like after removing the back panel. This black cable over here is coming from your LCD screen and this end it's called the output panel. And this is how the output panel of your LCD screen looks like. We will try to unplug it from the main board by removing this safety lever like this and unplug the cable. After that, we will try to remove this black tape around the LCD screen, which is fixing it inside the printer and actually protecting the light from being emitted from the edges. And then we go back to the back panel of your printer and we try to push the free LCD screen from the bottom like this, so that it will be easier to be removed from the printer. And here, as you can see, we can remove easily the LCD screen from the printer. And this is how it looks from the inside. This is the cable coming from the LCD screen, connecting it with the board. Then we'll try to unplug it from the LCD screen. I would highly recommend that you put your LCD screen on a microfiber tissue like this, so that you don't uh, scratch it. And now we will try to remove the black cable like this. This is a brand new LCD panel for the Phenom L. As you can see, it comes wrapped in a protective sheet and film like this with some instructions on it telling you and showing you where is the back of the LCD panel. And then you can know where is the front. Now, we will try to unwrap it. As you can read here, the back protective sheet of the LCD screen should only be removed when this film or this LCD screen is ready to be installed. So after unwrapping your brand new LCD panel, then we'll try to unplug the black cable that we removed earlier, just underneath this black tape. This black connector can only go and be inserted in one way. After inserting it, make sure to cover it with this black tape again so that it stays installed and fixed there. Now, as our LCD panel is ready to be installed, uh, we should remove the back protective film like this. Now, 
Let's install it inside the 3D printer. Before you place the LCD screen just above the light source of the LED array, we have to make sure that we clean its location using IPA or any cleaning material that you want so that we remove all the tapes and the resin left from the previous printings. As you can see, this black connector is hanging out of the LCD screen. We will try to insert it in this gap right here so that it will be easier to plug it back to the main board when we turn the printer 180 degrees. So as you can see, the LCD screen should be placed with extreme care so that we don't scratch it and we don't break it. After turning your printer 180 degrees, you can see that the black connector coming from the LCD screen is hanging out and now it's ready to be installed and plugged back to the board here. Now we will try to fix the LCD panel inside the printer using the black tapes. Now we will try to see whether the LCD panel was well installed inside the printer or not. And this is how you can change the LCD screen. If you have any questions or any suggestions for the future videos, you can always let us know by writing a uh, comment or you can contact us at info at imaker.com. Thank you very much for watching this video.